First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot a group. We're gonna quickly assess our ability to make uh, an accurate shot. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot either 10 shots on the number one dot, which most of the class, if you're shooting a traditional double action gun, I want five double action shots on the number one and five single action shots on the number six so that I can see the difference between the two targets, okay? If there is any, all right? But if you're shooting a striker fired gun or a single action gun, 10 shots on the number one dot. I'm looking for everything to be in that two inch circle, okay? This is not Camp Perry bullseye where you got 10 minutes to do this, but at the same time, if you come up there and you go and you've got a bad group, it doesn't help me assess your marksmanship capabilities. Make sense? So take the time to make 10 good shots. The line is hot. Go ahead on your own. So when we start analyzing a target, um, if we see a guy that is not hitting, the first thing we do is we blame the gun because it's the most, it's the easiest thing to disprove, right? So we blame the gun right out of the gate because sometimes it is the gun, all right? Um, so the easy way to do this, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have him load up. He's gonna aim in and then I'm gonna pull the trigger for him, okay? So go ahead and aim in. Aim in at the number six for me, okay? Keep your finger straight and aim in at the number six. Okay, so the gun's good, right? Yep. So we know it's not the gun. So the question is, go ahead and hold her up for me for a second. So the question we come into, comes into play here is, what, what's going on with these shots? They're all lower than his target. So if you guys are gonna analyze this, what, what's he doing wrong? Anticipating. Okay, what's anticipation? He's jumping it down right before it breaks. It's a pre-ignition push. He's ready for the reflow, basically. Okay. The way I like to describe this is he's starting to control recoil before the gun fires. That's what anticipation is, okay? So if that is the case, we got to figure out how to manage that. So there's a couple of series of things that we can deal with here. The reason that we bring this up is, well, a lot of times I ask, what's the, what do most people say when they see this? He's doing what? Jerking. He's jerking the trigger, okay? And he's... Trigger jerk is a myth, but that's a whole different conversation, okay? So jerking the trigger doesn't necessarily do anything. I can beat the trigger like it owes me money as long as I keep in alignment with the target, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to play a little bit of a game here with him. I'm gonna have him aim it at the number six. He's gonna aim the gun in, he's gonna put his finger on the trigger, he's gonna take all the slack out of the trigger, and when I say up, he's gonna pull the trigger as fast as possible. Now it's very important that when he does this, okay, he pulls the trigger as fast as he can when I say up. He doesn't adjust the dot a little bit. I know you said up, but wait a minute, my dot's not where it needs to be. He needs to try to keep it floating around in that, that two inch circle. And when I say up before all of the you of up gets out of my mouth, he makes the gun go bang. Does that make sense to you? Finger on the trigger, take all the slack that you can out of the trigger. Okay, we aimed in, ready, up, aim in, take all the slack out immediately, don't wait, ready, up, better, aim in, ready, you ready, slack out, all of it, up, a little bit of a delay, but still better. Okay, now we're gonna go faster. He needs to reset, and, when, and as soon as the dot is, I see the gun stable, I'm gonna pep tell him up, okay? Let's see if we can pick the pace up a little bit, see what that does. Amen, take all the slack out, ready? Up, slack out, up, slack out, up, slack out, up. There you go, even better. So, holster up. So it's still there just a little bit. But would you take this group or this group? Right? Clearly, we've made a significant improvement, but it's still ingrained in there into a subconscious just a little bit. So what are we going to do here? We're going to do a, a drill here for him. Go ahead and unload your gun. 
Move the magazine like that. Slide forward. Now slide forward and we're gonna aim in. We're gonna do a little dry fire drill here. So gonna aim in, all right. He's gonna dry fire. I'm gonna cycle the slide for him. When I cycle the slide, I need him to get back on the trigger and press the trigger as quickly as he can when the dot gets where it needs to be. That makes sense to you? All right, now let's watch the gun and the dot. Ready, go ahead. Faster. Faster. You see what happened the first couple of times? Mm -hmm. And then he started cleaning it up, right? When I bang that gun, he feels that recoil. His brain goes, recoil, got to stop that recoil. And then he pulls the trigger. And where does his dot go? Low and left. It goes right down where about where those bullet holes are on the target. Okay. So this is a great team drill for him to use to try to overcome that little bit of anticipation that he still has into the trigger. Dry fire is going to be his friend. There's no doubt about it. I'm gonna do, use you next, cause you got a similar, but way more consistent situation. So the first thing we need to do is again, blame the gun. Draw your gun out, load, make ready. Aim into that number six dot, okay? Take your finger off the trigger, all right? Let's aim in, what do we got? Is it there, 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 is it there? Okay, so the gun's fully capable of hitting that spot, right? So I took his anticipation out by pulling the trigger for him. So let's do the same thing that we did before. We're gonna do the up drill with him and then we're gonna do a separate one. So aim into that number six again, take all that slack out, stand by, up, slack out, up. So he's still got a little bit of that anticipation. Now, two things, he's shooting a red dot here. Where's your dot when you pull the trigger? It's like at the top of the six. Okay, well, that's where it should be. All right, at this close of a distance, he's gonna have some mechanical offset between his dot and where that bullet's gonna hit. So if he's at the top of the six, that means that he is still pushing it down a little bit. Okay, so let's try this. I'm gonna give you one, a different drill to run. This right on the heels of this one. Take the magazine out of the gun. All right, now you're gonna shoot two shots in relatively rapid succession. Okay, so I want you to be accurate. So it's not a double tap or a hammer or anything. I want it to. Be, I want you to be accurate, but I want you to press the. You know, bang and come back and pull the trigger again. Okay. Which is going to be empty. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Two shots. Ready? Oh, you waited too long. Load it back up again. I still saw it. <laughs> you still saw it move, though, right? It wasn't that bad. If you give yourself too much time, your brain goes, oh, this is dry fire now, I don't have to worry about it, okay? So it's bang, go bang, bang, relatively quickly. See it drop? Yeah. I saw it all over the place. Right, so that's the, that is the a tool that we can use. I call this the poor man's ball and dummy drill. Instead of having dummy rounds all over the ground, if we do that relatively quickly, it'll start showing that. But again, dry fire is gonna be his friend. So go ahead and aim in here. You should have an empty gun. Okay, ready? Go ahead and dry fire it. Faster. See how just that little bit and he recovers, he'll start recovering very, very quickly when doing a drill like this. Make sense? You see very within a few shots, that dot started moving less and less and less because his brain knows what the gun's gonna do now. Make sense? All right, these are tools. Raise your hand if you've dealt with anticipation on a shot before. Every single hand better go up or you're lying. All right, because that's the same thing that everybody deals with. When you start trying to shoot quickly, that timing issue comes into play and we start trying to stop the gun from recoiling before the gun fires and our shots go low, low left, low right if we're left-handed, all of those things.
To keep up to date, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. For questions, go to langdontactical.com. And to keep up to date with all the new stuff from Langdon Tactical, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Langdon Tactical.